Good afternoon. It's 100 degrees here in the shop this afternoon. Forge hasn't been running for about three hours. I was working on finishing up some adzes this morning, getting the final forging done. Now they're ready for the final grinding. And I set these aside probably three hours ago and turned the forge off and went to lunch. And then took a long lunch to let it cool down some, and it's still hot in here. So I don't think I'm going to be doing any forging this afternoon, and if I do, it'll be fairly low heat work. Certainly not going to do any forge welding at this point. It's just too hot for that. So I thought I would take a moment and show you something that came in the mail the other day. It's a new book called The Blacksmith's Project Book. This book is written by... Antonelli Rizzo and was originally written in Italian and is published by Artisan Ideas or Artisan North America might be what you find them online but I'll put a link down in the description to where the book comes from and this is not a basic book if you're just starting out this would be a great book to be inspired by but it is not a book to go and think that you're going to make these projects right away if you have good grasp of the fundamentals. There are some good projects in this book. And if you are a more advanced smith, I think you will find lots of things in here that you might like to make. Some of them aren't too too bad. There are, are things like a door knocker. But some of them are quite difficult and things that I have never even tried. Let me see if I can find the, the good picture here. Like a repose human face. I think that would be a great project to try, but I haven't the slightest idea how to start, so I would have to read the instructions. But there are lots of things in here. There is a, a harp, a musical instrument harp. It's only about a five or six string harp, but it has a human face on it. It's really a neat piece. There's a, a bill hook, which would be a useful project for cutting some of the brush around here, so I'll probably make that. Instructions for making a human hand. There's some flowers lots of other sculptural stuff and this is all from European blacksmiths and he wrote the book like I say I think it was originally in Italian and then it's been translated into English for the, uh, the US market so if you're in Europe you might be able to find it in both languages it just depends on what you want to look for and this is actually a sequel to his earlier book which was Secrets of the Forge. And it says that was nine years before this book. So that may be ten years ago now. I don't know. Let me look here and see when this book was actually printed or published. Copyright 2018, first edition. So this is brand new, just out on the market. Most of your blacksmith suppliers will probably have a copy, but you can order it direct from Artisan Ideas. I am hoping that we can do some projects out of this book as part of the video. But since it's a copyrighted book, I'm a little hesitant to just dive right in and show you what is in the book without you buying the book. So I have actually written the publisher and I've asked for permission to do that. If they say it's okay, then I'll pick three or four of the projects out of this book and we'll work through them together right here on the channel. And you can see some of what's in here. The main reason I show you a book like this is just to give you some ideas of where you can go to be inspired. If you feel like you've stalled out, you can't think of new ideas, even if you're just looking at the pictures, really, you're going to be inspired. You're going to see some stuff like, wow, I didn't know you could do that out of iron. i got to try that. And your piece may look different. If you do the shutter dog that's out of here, the shutter latch, yours will probably not look like the one that is shown in the book. But you'll learn a lot doing it, and you can use the book as reference on how it should work and what it should do, and then you can apply your own little artistic flair to it. So books like this are wonderful resources to help fuel your imagination. I think I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to work through some of these projects. Even if they tell me not to do them on YouTube, I'll do them and just show you the finished project. But if they say it's okay to work through it step by step and do a, a video or two on each project, We'll go ahead and plan to do some of that. Just another teaser. It's not like I don't have anything to do already. We're still working on tools to make a dragon's head with. So I need to get back to that, do a little grinding and filing on these, 
do some grinding on some adz heads, get them ready to harden and temper. Maybe tomorrow morning before it's hot, I'll do some hardening and tempering on these things. Lots of things to work on. I hope you've got something you can work on. Hope you can get out to your shop. Enjoy your time out in the shop, but try to stay safe. And remember, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you later.